get a couple of pace laps. Once again, we invite you to take a good look at those two international trucks, an Eagle and a Lone Star. Starting to, uh, actually they, they might be starting to mix it up there in the back stretch. We can call this one. Looks like the Eagle, the black and gold Eagle out front. go single file we can take a look at that black and gold these guys start to pick up the pace a little bit the eagle carrying our american flag and the lone star right behind him that jet black truck is beautiful up get your hats in your hands let them know you're pulling for them we want to save 50 laps but we want a competitive one as well so Get ready as they come around. They'll be going down the back stretch four wide as they come by. You let them know you want a good race. One more time as the Deal Automotive Super Deal Automotive rather pace truck comes by the front stretch. The two trucks brought here tonight by Hill International Trucks. We have our full wide salute for the precise racing product Rush Pro Late Models. Ladies and gentlemen, on your feet, wave your phones, wave your hats, take a video, let them know. Drivers have their hands in the air waving at the crowd. Wave back, let them know you're here. We start to get underway. We're 50 laps for the precise racing products Rush Pro Late Models, Chuck George Memorial, Steel City 50 Classic. One more pace left, let's get one last look at these two. The Hill International, Chuck George, Steel City 50 Classic, driving the 60C, Colton Flinner. Colton with congratulations from family, well deserved. Colton, it was ugly. Uh, at least it was ugly the first half of that race, but you and Tommy put on an absolute show. Uh, he, he just dominated that high side until you really took over, and once you, once you did, I mean, he was still there. He was right there with you the whole time. Talk about that race. Yeah, that was an awesome race with me and Tommy. We're pretty good friends, and we like to race each other clean. We had a mix up the one lap, but it's all good. We raced the clean the rest of the race. My car really started to come in at the end, right through the center of the racetrack, which really worked out perfect in our favor. So it means a lot to win this race. Jook George Memorial has to mean a lot to you. Obviously, you're running the late model now, but here's a race that's dedicated to uh, you know, the, the pro late models, the Rush Crate late models now. You get this ride and you come out on top. How's that feel? It feels pretty amazing. Uh, I won two weeks ago in this car, and the Benses are a great group of people, and I can't thank them enough for this opportunity for driving for them. And to win the Jook George for them is even more amazing. We saw Dad lay a big hug on you when you got out of the car. Talk about the, the family support as well as the rest of your crew. If it wasn't for my family, my mom, dad, sister, they, I wouldn't be where I am today. They're a big uh, thank for my uh, racing career, and I just can't thank them enough. You already mentioned stands. Talk about the rest of the sponsors on this car. Uh, there's AutoZone, Stan's Transmission, and then I just got to thank the whole Stan Transmission crew for putting me in this ride. I mean, it's fast, and I love it. Colton Flinner, your winner of the Jook George Steel City 50 Classic, sponsored by and brought to us by tonight Hill International Trucks. Congratulations. Thank you. Colton Flinner, everyone. About a race. We talked about a clean race, and we talked about an exciting race. Right here we have Tommy Schoenhofer. He was certainly a huge part of that. And uh, Tommy, side by side, back and forth, you made that high line look like that was home for you. Uh, talk about that race. It was an awesome race. Uh, being up there, you don't have any signals. I didn't know where Colton was. I looked over. He was underneath me a few times. 
when I got to the lead, I didn't, uh, I, uh, I kept, I got it going good, and I think I heated my tires up, but Colton was better. He could just stick it in the, he could drive right through the slick, down through the middle, and uh, I had to lean on the top a little bit. When you were running that top, not a slip, not a scrape, not a wiggle, nothing. You really made that top. It made, like I said, it was like home. It wasn't easy. <laughs> it was tough up there. So, I don't know. I just, I had a lean on there. I thought that was the best way around. Sign of a good driver, takes his runner-up position. Going to go over and congratulate the leader, I'm sure, Tommy Schoenhofer. Congratulations, you guys put on an awesome race.